Hi everyone, I'm Aaron from The Hunting Public and this is my co-host Lauren, a wildlife educator from the Wisconsin DNR. And we've teamed up with a new group of experienced hunters, experts in wildlife management, and a few additional friends for season three of Wild, Wild Wisconsin. Wisconsin. In this segment, we're gonna get into the crucial ways DNR and hunters are working together to address the growing concerns and potential impacts of chronic wasting disease. Or CWD. And here to give us the inside scoop are Acting Wildlife Management Bureau Director, Tammy Ryan, and Wildlife Health Conservation Specialist, Mandy Camps. Hi, welcome to another episode of Wild Wisconsin. And we are here today to talk to you about a very uh, significant issue in Wisconsin, which is chronic wasting disease in the white-tailed deer herd. We really care about the health of the deer herd. We're deer hunters, just like a lot of you are. I myself own land up north and you know, we go up there every fall and uh, hunt deer, and so certainly this is a, a, a matter that's near and dear to my heart as it is to others, I know. So Mandy, why don't you tell us a little bit about the efforts that we're going to be doing this year. For CWD sampling, we're actually focusing some efforts in 18 counties in the northern part of the state. We also have continued efforts in some of the other areas of the state. There's also other new programs that we have out there this year, or enhancements of programs maybe that we just started recently. Yeah, last year we started our Adopt-a-Kiosk and Adopt-a-Dumpster programs. Kiosks, hunters really like kiosks. They're very efficient. They're available 24-7 to submit your samples. And so we have more kiosks available and then our individuals or organizations across the state who really want to help us to collect more samples, they're offering to adopt one for us. They will, they'll, they'll manage it, they'll let us know, they'll work with us in that kiosk and getting those samples collected. Yeah. Why is it that the proper disposal of deer carcass waste is important? That's a really good question. So it's important because if, if a deer does test positive, we, it's important to get that off of the landscape just so that it, that material that could be transmitted is no longer available on that landscape and that possibility for more infections is no longer there. In addition to, to hunters getting their deer tested for CWD, mm -hmm. there's other ways and other information that's really important for hunters to be aware of. And one of those is our baiting and feeding uh, regulations. And why we have a ban on baiting and feeding is that that's one way where deer become congregated. Uh, they group together a bit more if they're eating the same uh, pile of bait that's out there. There's a chance for higher contact between animals, um, exchange of saliva and things like that, and then that could just be a potential for um, infection to spread between individuals. Think about the fact that CWD prions do reside in soil. And so think about um, areas of the state where you might live or where you may recreate and whether or not CWD is in your, maybe your day-to-day -day life. So I think about this and I think about the soil, the contact and the soil and, the, and my footwear, for example. I don't wear the same footwear that I do at home as I would up north. I have like, dedicated clothing um, for different areas of the state so that I'm not potentially contributing to the spread of disease through, through just my footwear or even our ATV that we haul back and forth between our home. Think about that as well, all that dirt that's in the tires or maybe the undercarriage. Um, make sure that it's clean before you transport it up there. CWD isn't just an issue in Wisconsin. I mean, this is a, a regional issue. We know that there's 26 states in the nation that have chronic wasting disease in their deer herds. We are investing heavily in the science of CWD. We really have a very strong research program here in Wisconsin DNR, and we've done a lot of research in recent years and we've augmented research that we initiated four years ago. Our Southwest CWD Deer and Predator Study is one example that's been ongoing now for four years. That research is growing into more research looking at um, things like how the disease is affecting the deer herd, um, looking at other ways that we can test the deer um, through various testing methodologies. So there's a lot of really exciting things that are happening here in Wisconsin and I'm really proud to be part of it. So new this year, we have new information available um, where there's a link now for you to find information not only on where you can have your deer sampled for CWD, but also where these proper carcass disposal locations are. Yeah, in addition to the app too, we do have that on our webpage too. So if anybody's on our website and they want to search for that information, there's another way they can find it. Yeah, so that information's at your fingertips. We hope you have a fun season out there, stay safe, and thanks for watching another episode of Wild Wisconsin. CWD is a persistent challenge and will take a dedicated effort by Wisconsin hunters to address. 
You as an individual deer hunter are critical. Whether you have your deer tested, post a dumpster or kiosk, or check out our website for more info. Right, Aaron? Absolutely. Every hunter needs to do their part. Thanks for watching.